Time now for Starting Block, our monthly look at startups disrupting business as usual. Now, today's focus is recidivism, the tendency for convicted criminals to re-offend. Now, the social and economic costs are hard to compare across cultures around the globe, so let's take the U.S., for example. Now, the U.S. has the biggest prison system in the world, but just 5% of the world's population. Still, the U.S. jails 25% of the world's prisoners at a cost of more than $1 trillion a year. Researchers agree that the communities and families bear the bulk of that through lost earnings while a person is incarcerated and the diminished income earned after release. Data shows that almost 68% of former convicts will be rearrested within three years of release. Two years later, that number jumps to almost 77%, and that starts the cycle all over again. Well, experts say former convicts must, quote, independently decide to become ex-offenders for them to become income creators. Well, anti-recidivism programs aim to provide skills to support change and cut social and economic costs. Well, let's head over to the UK, where there's a project aiming to turn drug dealers into businessmen. Social entrepreneur Clayton Planter says skills learned on the street can be easily transferred to the corporate world and that the term entrepreneur is really just another word for hustler. Kate Parkinson reports. Clayton Planter grew up on these streets in inner city Bristol. He's seen his fair share of friends turning to the wrong side of the law to make money and wanted to offer an alternative to the life of crime. I just wanted to create something for my community. I see a lot of people involved in crime going through the same old, same old. I wanted to create something different, eh? I want to turn people on the streets into business people. Clayton's project, Street to Boardroom, is an eight-week mentoring programme for young people with a chequered past who want to become successful business entrepreneurs. His message is, it's not where you've come from, it's where you're going that's important. You're young and you're black and you live in this area, that doesn't mean that this is going to be your life. Weekly workshops teach networking, marketing, business language, and perhaps most importantly, confidence to step into the corporate world. Kai had already set up a clothing company, but tells me that taking part in Street to Boardroom has given him the skills to take his business to the next level. And I've already got a brand, but I wanted to progress more. I needed to learn more about marketing, how to pro, um, promote my business and kind of get out there and have the confidence within myself to try and speak to new people, speak to new clients and just try and do better, basically, with myself and with my business and try and grow my confidence. Street to Boardroom is all about dreaming big. And for Clayton, the sky really is the limit. He's talking about developing a smartphone app, a book, a board game, even a television series.